Welcome to Card of the Day with Lady Speech. If you're here, you're right on time. If you're seeing this, then there's a message in here for you. What's up everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Uncle. It's your favorite pirate captain. It's your favorite goddess king. It's your favorite hood healer, high priestess, motivational dominatrix. Lady Speech in the place to be and I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world and you're also choosing to share just a bit of time and just a bit of space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> if you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, hit that notifications bell, hit that notifications bell, so you can keep up with my shenanigans and happenings and all types of things. Also, even if you have done that before, make sure you do it again because every once in a while and every now and again, the YouTubes like to be unsubscribing people from folks' accounts. So you just got to make sure you're still doing what you need to do with me, baby. Now, let's hop into today's card of the day. Shall we? All right, all right, all right, good people. Welcome to card of the day. Before we get started, let me introduce you to the deck that we're going to be using today. First and foremost, let me say shout out to Sarah, baby. You know who you are, Sugar Honey Dumpling. I love and adore you so much, and I thank you. This was a beloved birthday present from Sarah. So thank you so much, Sarah, for the gift that keeps on giving. Now, this deck right here is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit by Kim Kranz. And this, if you haven't guessed it, uses the Animal Kingdom as its basis. Will there be a tarot review about this deck right here? Oh, you know there will be, baby. So stay tuned. Now, you know what I'm going to say. If you want to get this deck, please do so. But first, shop small. Check your local apothecaries. Check your local small businesses. Check your mom and pop shops. Check your black owned businesses, your brown owned businesses, your trans owned businesses, your gay owned businesses, your women and femme owned businesses first. And then if you got to get what you got to get from where you got to get it from, if you got to go to these big chains to handle your business, do what you got to do, do what you got to do. But shop small first. Now, Let's get into today's reading, because it's a good one. Today's card is the zebra. The energy that the zebra card brings with it is the energy of curiosity and delight. It is the energy of visionariness and creativity. The zebra reminds us to remember our eccentricness and the zebra reminds us to give ourselves permission to not only go our own way, but to be spontaneous about it. The zebra reminds us that it is okay to be absolutely who you are, to function the way you function, to process life the way you process it. The energy of the zebra reminds us of our youthful nature. Now, this is not about chasing our youth. This is not about chasing our youth. This is not about turning back the times. But this is about locating the inner child within us and honoring that. This is about honoring the youthfulness that does exist inside of us. The zebra reminds us to march our own way and be unapologetic about it. A major reminder from the zebra is about stepping out of boxes, stepping out of comfort zones in order to achieve your ultimate self. Zebra energy is about expanding your view. It is about opening your mind. It is about considering other 
possibilities. It's about looking at the obstacles in front of you and not allowing yourself to be defeated before you try. The zebra reminds us to develop, to cultivate, and lean on healthy audacity. The zebra reminds us that there is more out there than our little corner of not only the world, but understanding. The zebra pre presents us with an invitation to grow, to grow past our boundaries, to push ourselves past what we've been told we can do, what we think we can do. The zebra is about having audacity, the audacity to step full into your power. Now, here's the thing that the, the other message that the zebra is bringing. The zebra is here to tell you, you need to stop underestimating yourself. You need to stop underestimating yourself. You need to stop underestimating yourself. Let me tell you something about zebras that a lot of people don't know. They can be bastards. <laughs> they can be bastards. Put in a little research about them. They're not the nicest. Now, zebras. Big horses. Colorful horses. That's what a lot of people think when they, they think about zebras. They must be gentle. Oh, they're probably so kind. No. Number one, they pack a punch. That body might be little, but it packs a punch, baby. You don't want to be kicked. You don't want to be mauled. You don't want to find yourself in any vicinity of a zebra. Do you know that in zoos where zebras exist, zebras are accountable for a lot of the violence against zookeepers because they are that out of pocket? And... People forget. They look at them and they're like, oh, how sweet, how gentle. Of course, they, they wouldn't do that. Meanwhile, you're being tossed around the pen because the zebra done snatched you up by your collar and is upset at you for whatever reason it is. All that to say, don't underestimate zebras and you don't need to underestimate yourself. You need to quit acting like you're not as powerful as you are. You need to quit acting like you aren't as capable as you are. There are ways that some of you are sitting here right now watching this where y'all have sh sold yourself so short. You out here thinking you can't run a business. You out here thinking you can't go back to school. You out here thinking there's a lot of things you can't do. When the only thing standing between you and those things and getting them done is you thinking you can't. Quit underestimating yourself. Quit underestimating yourself. You know, I've recently discovered that I'm into powerlifting and I'm slowly, you know, really shifting my life to really stand in that and so I can be the best at that for myself. And as I'm doing a lot of research for powerlifting, what I am discovering is that strong people in regards to powerlifting look like everything. There are strong people who have my body tag, women in films, who are out here lifting 500, 500 and something pounds, just dead lifting 500 and some pounds. And there are women in films who are smaller than me, who have a different body type, who are out here lifting big weights. Folks are big and thick. Some folks are small and thick. There's all types of people who are strong as all get out. All that to say you can't judge or underestimate someone based on what they look like. You can't look at someone and say, oh, I think you're not, you're, you're not strong. You're weak. Because you might get shown up and shown out the door with, by your embarrassment. You, a lot of you watching this right now have looked in the mirror and you've doubted your strength. You've doubted your intelligence because it doesn't look like other people. You've doubted your ability because it doesn't come off like other people. Honey, I'm here to tell you this reading is here to tell you. Zebra energy is here to tell you to stop underestimating yourself. You powerful as all get out. Stop selling yourself short. You're intelligent as all get out. You got this. You got this. It's time to heal that self-esteem. It's time to address the core of the issue. Why you think you can't do this. It's time to get to the bottom of why you disrespect yourself with a negative self-talk. 
Don't judge yourself, just get to the root of it because there's work to do, honey. There's goals to accomplish. Spirit needs you to make big changes and big moves this year. Your ancestors in the universe have an entire plan for you, but it's gonna require bravery. It's gonna require audacity. It's gonna require courage. Now, courage and bravery are two different things. Bravery, you are without the fear. You've tamed the fear. You've compartmentalized the fear. You didn't place the fear somewhere else. You didn't process the fear. Courage is being scared, pissing your pants and doing it anyway. Be scared. You can be scared. Do it anyway. Do it while you're scared. Do it anyway. Because your new life, the blessings that spirit wants to give to you, requires that you are comfortable with yourself. It requires that you accept all of yourself. It requires that you unapologetically step into your gloriousness, your magnificent magnificence and your power. It's time. Big things are coming, child. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Remember how strong you are. Remember how capable you are. Remember how amazing you are. You got this. And your entire spiritual team, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, the deities and the gods that are within your lineage that follow you, creator, god, goddess, the universe and in its entirety is working for your highest good and it's rooting for you. Move, trick! Get out your way! Get out your way! Get out your way! That's all you gotta do at this point. Get out of your own way. They'll handle the rest. <laughs> Get out of your own way, address the root of the issues of why you don't believe in yourself and they'll handle the rest. They got you. They got you. And you got this. And that's that on zebra energy. And that's that on stepping out on faith and stepping in to your greatness. Ha! If you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. I appreciate your time and your attention. I appreciate you spending a little bit of attention and time on me. You made it rain and I hope I gave you something in return. <laughs> Cause your time and your attention are valuable currency and I do not take it for granted at all. All right? All right, uh, uh, okay. All right, okay. Now, I don't wanna take up all your time. I just wanna take up a little bit of your time. That mission has been accomplished so we done here i'm gonna let you go just in case no one has told you today you're absolutely wonderful really you are you are a gift you are a gift from the universe to the rest of the world a valuable gift at that a priceless gift at that thank you for taking care of this gift thank you for taking care of this gift because that's exactly what you are. Now you know the drill. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling any of this, if you're feeling any of me, make sure you hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that notifications bell. It couldn't hurt. <laughs> you know. God, Goddess, Creator. Universe Ancestors, Orisha Loa, Spirit Guides, Deities, my entire spiritual team that follows me, my spirit animal allies. All of them willing, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Mwah. Peace.